capitalist type mindset to something that is more sustainable, whereby they they concentrate more on the tomorrow, the future. So if you are able to produce rather than going into wild catch, you start fish farming, then it means there will be sustainability within the project. So what we want to do is for them to take responsibility and be able to communicate and also feed their communities at the same time they are preserving what they have. So what we're doing, the goal is to preserve and protect what lasts, what we have, at the same time producing for their communities. So we're giving them responsibilities mm -hmm. so that it becomes as a new way of life now. We are changing behavior, not just by teaching them the way of life, but also by activities that they can learn and explore and experiment in and also bring innovation. That's fantastic. And I love what you said about a sustainable way of life. It's not just, okay, I'm going to get to tomorrow, I'm going to get to tomorrow. It's really thinking long term for their own survival and well being, but also for the planet. It's beautiful. That's so fantastic. So, what are some, outside of these skill sets, which are amazing and very, very important, what are some of the um, other hands on type things that youth can do that you even things that you've heard of or been working with within your own organization? So with, with what is happening right now, I will speak like two practical things that can happen. Uh, the other one might seem too far fetched, but it's, it's a way of life that we have to take. It's a path that we have to take either way. Right now we have to engage in the basic transfer of other things that we do. For instance, knowledge, the technology transfer that engage in innovation, innovative ways of implementing projects, go greening, start doing so many experience with solar panels, harnessing water, you know, management system, improving efficiency when it comes to energy, you know, many other practices that we have to do. But in the long run, what we have to do is focus on the major problems. For instance, we have to shift our mindset from the capitalistic world to more well-being. That's, that's redefining economics itself, like what's important with that. We have reached a point where we have noticed that, uh, you know, gold and diamonds, they are not the most important things in life, even though we value those so much. Survival is the most important thing in this planet that we have. So we have to now focus on what's more expensive, what's our economy going to be like, how are we going to define our economy. Are we saying we're going to produce so that we can make profit, or are we going to produce so that we can feed? Minimize loss, you know? Mm -hmm. Those are some of the secular economy, that, those are some of the things that I'm talking about. So that everybody can invest into a farmer, knowing that a farmer will produce for this community, rather than a farmer coming to us to produce so that they can make a profit out of us. We talk of finance, which is a key issue. Those things, they have to be redefined. We talk of the issue of new civilization, how I relate to you. We are living in a global village these days. We have to now incorporate the indigenous knowledge systems, how our communities used to live. Like that's the new civilization. And the different way where I'm supposed to just be raised, you know, and go to school to earn something. But we have to now look into how would I want to engage with my grandmother. We have to go back now to those center edges and try to find out how can you live and how can you the things that you have. So those are some of the things that I think we should pay particular attention to. So right now, maybe to the world leaders and other young people out there, I would say those are the lines that we have to start thinking about. If you are purchasing, you're purchasing power. How is that going to affect? How are you going to do that? So we are redefining economics. I would rather give somebody money for something that is quite Important their own being you know, that can contribute to that rather than just give money for somebody to make profits from this. Yeah. yeah. That's so, so spot on. Oh my goodness. Couldn't agree with you more. So you're here at Koi, now you're staying in the cup. Can you tell me what are some of your goals being here for Koi and Cop? Coming out of it, what are some of your goals? Okay, so I'll start with the challenge where this goal comes from. Yeah. So one of the major things is young people, like I understand, maybe from the European side, you know, everything is systemized and people have way of life that can be like 
easier compared to Africa. But I would cry that as much as we are also advocating and we are raising awareness, it's about time we also take action, coming from my perspective. There's so much that needs to be done. And some of the people that we are crying for action so that they execute, they don't even know what to do, you know. So it's about time us as young people also bring something to the table. I would expect us to come up with also action plans that are solid with actions that we can do, maybe conduct or start doing projects. I, I would like much more when we say, as a young person, I look outside the building and I'm like, I think I could put solar as wind speed of that building rather than saying people should do something about that. So I think it's about time we start executing ourselves, challenge ourselves even more, know what I can do. So I'm looking forward to more youth action rather than youth crying for action. It could work hand in hand yes. and we need that support for that environment, uh, no doubt. We need the resources and everything, but we like to do it also ourselves. Tell us if uh, somebody wants to find your organization, what's the website? Okay, uh, if you want to find our organization, you can look it up on social media platforms. That's AIC Zimbabwe, A Y I C C Zimbabwe, as, as well as uh, www.aikzim.com. Thank you so much. And we'll add those links into the description box. Thank you so much, Sean. Thank you so much for your time. Okay.